welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Lane Myers and this is uh, my partners Anna and Rachel Giles. I've uh, had the pleasure of working with them on Hotel Basin this semester and uh, I'm excited to be able to share this with you today. A little overview of what I'm going to speak about today. First I'll go over the quadruple net value analysis of the project. Um, I'll give a brief overview of the floor plans to give you more of a, a visual of what the hotel looks and feels like. And, uh, and in the quadruple net value analysis, uh, for the sensory value of a video to give you more of a uh, sensory feel of, of what it looks, feels, tastes like uh, in our rest, in our hotel. As you all can see here, um, most of you all have seen this before. This is just a little glimpse into the, the, the minimal information that we were given from Midway to start this project off. Um, being such minimum information, was actually a blessing in disguise to give us a lot of uh, creative room uh, to, to do with this hotel, with this building, what we thought uh, was best fit for Midland and for the project. Uh, but as you can see, you know, it's a minimum 200 keys, which is a goal that we were all given. Ours is right around 220. Um, this is along with some restaurant space, possible pasta pool, retail, uh, and a conference center, uh, conference space attached to it. Um, we have our existing building, which is the Western United Life Building, which is currently 12 stories. Uh, it's a really great template to use. It's a very blank slate uh, with, with great windows. Um, the only difficulty in this structure is the, the column grid, uh, but uh, our, my partners have been able to really work with that well um, and still uh, provide large rooms uh, while keeping the original, the, uh, original structure. Here's a... Uh, a view from Texas Avenue of our hotel. As you can see, we're keeping the original structure. We did get rid of the, the granite that surrounded the bottom floor. Uh, as you all probably felt when we were there, it really retains heat and uh, wasn't the prettiest thing in the world, so we wouldn't get rid of that. Um, really uh, open up that those windows on the first floor, um, give it a more uh, pretty look while also keeping the original structure. And as you can see, we have a, a perforated steel, it's called Corten Steel. Uh, dual skin facade is what it's called on, on top of the on the front of the building. Uh, this provides some shade, gives it a new look, uh, while also uh, allowing us to keep that original structure, just making it look a little more appealing uh, to Midland as a whole. And this is uh, also used on our ballroom next door. As you can see, the, the same steel is used on the front there as well. Now to dive into our quadruple net value analysis, uh, first I'm going to start with the economic value. Uh, when we were looking into the economic value of this hotel, uh, we thought less about uh, how much it's going to cost us to do this and more so of what our profitability can be, what potential ways that we can really take advantage um, of a basically an untapped market in Midland. And so first and foremost is something that's been talked about with Midway and with Tim Leach. It's uh, really retaining these visiting executives from these big companies. Obviously, it's a, a great area in, in the country for oil and gas, and so there's uh, typically many oil and gas representatives that come to visit Midland, but often they're flying in early in the morning, staying for their meetings all day, and then honestly getting out of there as soon as they can. And so we want to be able to retain those executives in town, give them to stay for one or more nights, depending on how much work they have to do in Midland. Um, and, and really use, utilize that as a, a core target market for us. Secondly is to really involve the community. Um, obviously, this is in Midland. You know, we're going to have visitors that are coming to stay, uh, but it's important for us to, to be able to activate this hotel and the community to really involve them. Uh, we have a great opportunity being right across the street from Centennial Park, and so being able to, to draw them in through our restaurant and our bar, um, honestly, even just through our air conditioning, um, is a great opportunity for us to get us, get them in there, uh, get them involved with our restaurant, our bar, um, and really just involve the community as a whole with our hotel. We'll also be able to command some of the highest rates in Midland. I don't think there's any hotel like this in Midland, or possibly even the Permian Basin. Um, so having uh, being able to have high rates like that with our luxury hotel um, is uh, a great opportunity for profitability as well. Uh, we also have retail potential. We're looking at putting retail underneath our ballroom. Uh, and then uh, along with using our original structure, we're saving a lot of money with demolition uh, and with new construction of a, a new structure. 
With environmental, we're using what's called a BRF HVAC system. Uh, so this doesn't have any ducts, really limits uh, the look of, or allows us to open up the, the space and uh, is very energy efficient. We're using the original structure. Uh, we're activating Centennial Park uh, through our direct access to it. And we're also going to have what are called low E-coated windows, which limit the amount of ultraviolet and infrared light uh, that comes through the windows while not uh, limiting visible light. As far as social cultural values uh, in, in the hotel, I think it's twofold. Uh, it's, we're going to be able to engage the community through the hotel by getting them into our hotel and also engaging our hotel guests with the community itself uh, by giving them that, that view and that access to Centennial Park. And for uh, sensory value, you do a glimpse into this with my video. Welcome to the Wild West, Midland, Texas. Our goal here is to develop a 200-room luxury hotel and conference center right in the middle of downtown, converting 207 North Colorado Street from an abandoned office building into a piece of art called Hotel Basin as a tribute to the Permian Basin. As you can see, cat a corner to our property is the new Centennial Park that is currently under construction. Not pictured is the recently completed Bush Convention Center at the far end of the park from this viewpoint. On the near side of our property is a building that has recently been demolished, giving us room to build an attached ballroom space that can host events for up to 285 people. It is exciting to be able to work on a project like this with such great access to Centennial Park and it will be interesting to see the impact this hotel has on the revitalization of Midland in the future. All five senses are activated before you even enter into the hotel by the activities taking place at the park across the street. This park will enliven the entirety of the downtown district, making it feel more welcoming and activating the community. At Hotel Basin, we have the luxury of large windows. Since we are reusing the existing building, this is an extreme advantage and gives every room a great view. Additionally, the ballroom next door will have floor-to-ceiling windows, letting in limitless natural light throughout the space. Our perforated steel dual-skin facade, known as Corton Steel, is a building material commonly used throughout the West. This will allow us to keep the existing classic exterior look while adding depth and dimension to the facade, while providing increased shade for many of the rooms. The harsh, rusty metal look on the outside relates directly to the roughneck industry of Midland an effortless tribute to the city's western heritage. The lobby entrance will have air conditioning fans blowing out to the sidewalk to attract passers-by into our lobby and restaurant, connecting the hotel with the city beyond the guests. We are removing the granite facade that surrounded the first floor, retaining heat even after sunset that could be felt by those walking by on the sidewalk. From the rough feel of the leather seating to the soft touch of premium linens, guests of Hotel Basin are guaranteed the best that comfort has to offer. As you walk in the lobby, you will immediately notice the smell of the authentic leather couches, maybe hints of dishes being whipped up in the restaurant, or the fresh flowers placed throughout the lobby. Various parts of the hotel will have different scents particular to that space, giving hotel guests a variety of scents to experience throughout their stay. Taste and smell go hand in hand and the smells from the kitchen will only make guests crave a meal from our top chefs. Whether it's coffee in the morning at our cafe, a fine dinner in our restaurant, or a simple mint on your pillow when you arrive, we want to ensure that your entire stay at Hotel Basin shows you the flavor of West Texas. A distinctive feature of our hotel lies in the flavors of historically themed cocktails 
found in our public cocktail bar and the private speakeasy in the basement. Stepping inside both the hotel and ballroom space, guests are transported back in time to the 1920s as a tribute to the era in which oil was discovered in this area, and the population boomed. High gloss marble and carpets with bold geometric patterns, among other design features from the 20s, are showcased throughout the project. There's even a secret, low-lit speakeasy in the basement that can only be accessed if you know what you're looking for. All conference space and guest rooms and hotel basin will be highly insulated to ensure the utmost privacy for our guests. We are utilizing a VRF HVAC system that is not only energy efficient, but is nearly completely silent. None of our rooms share a wall with the elevators, further ensuring peace and quiet. High-end audio video systems, including surround sound in the rooms, larger systems fit with flat screen TVs in the conference spaces, and a concert quality system in the ballroom all enrich every experience, from work to play. Many parts of the hotel trigger multiple, if not all of the senses at once, including the lobby, restaurant, guest rooms, and especially the ballroom that incorporates the biophilic experience with the green space in between the pre-function space and the ballroom itself. Our dynamic meeting and event spaces allow you to stimulate both the professional and personal development of your colleagues, all without ever leaving our hotel. And to dive a little deeper, uh, I'd like to do a brief overview of what our floor plans look like, uh, starting with the first floor with the ballroom. As you can see, uh, on the right side is our hotel, the left side is our ballroom. Uh, on, the left, on the right, the, the gray blue space is our lobby, uh, the, the red on the right side is our restaurant, the stairs in the middle of that are, go down to our speakeasy, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Um, then we have a lot of office uh, and service space in the back there. Um, the, the tan hallway gives direct access uh, to go across the alleyway into our ballroom space. Uh, we'll have all the prep area in the top here. And then you can see our ballroom with the removable wall down the middle. This is our green space. And then we have pre-function space with the bathrooms on the front there. This is the basement, so as you can see, the speakeasy is down here in the bottom middle uh, with the stairs that access it there, and then this is all of our uh, maintenance area below here. Uh, as you can see on the previous slide, we have this, uh, this checkered pattern on the alleyway in the middle of the two structures. This is a, actually a removable floor, uh, so you can pull this up and then any maintenance workers can just drop down and go below both the building and the ballroom into the basement uh, for any maintenance needs. This is level two, which is where the majority of our conference space is in the red. We also have some open area down here in the middle with a view of the lobby below. And then the bottom right corner of the orange is our coffee shop for anyone in the conference space. And here is our levels three through 12. So this is all of our hotel guest rooms. Um, as you can see, we worked, uh, my team worked around the column spaces here, um, and each room has a very similar size. We currently have the presidential suites in the top right, but those can be possibly moved uh, to overlook the park directly. As far as conceptualization and design goes for this project, it's mainly complete. We've got a lot of the ideas down. Obviously, there's going to be some tweaking here and there. Uh, I think that's true until the project is finished. Um, as far as perfecting little things uh, to get exactly what is anticipated. Uh, but my, my partners have worked very, very hard on the conceptualization and design of this project. As far as delivery goes, we have uh, construction. We thought about some potential obstacles uh, that we might run into. Uh, as far as paying a premium for good welders, they're obviously offered a lot of money to work in the oil industry, so we'll have to do that to ensure that we have welders for our new structure uh, of the ballroom. Transportation materials might be an issue because we're so far from DFW or Houston. Um, most materials will have to come from there or out of state. And asbestos is, is an issue as well. There's some potential to acquire some land in the future across the street and behind, um, which is important to consider into the future. As far as activation and management, um, we need to be consistently involved with Centennial Park and have a higher management company that ensures that and always keeps that at the forefront of their goals. And, uh, and using these local executives that come to visit for marketing uh, to spread 
the word to their, their rich buddies and to, to bring them in, make sure that they're staying at our hotel and spreading the word from there on. We'll now open up for questions if we've got time.